All right, quick aftermath of my dad's car before anybody comes out. He did really good. Uh, got second in the heat, put him to the Concy, got first in the Concy, and I think ended up fourth in the feature. Overall, uh, we got to fix this radiator and replace it and pull the thermostat because it's running too hot. I mean, the there's a hole right there. So, other than that, I don't think there's really anything else wrong with the car. Some body work here and there. Hit a few people in the front, so bumper's a tiny bit tweaked, but that's fine. I think there's a tie rod issue. So we'll check that. Out of all the doors, we screwed them all shut. He forgot a door, so we're going to have to put this back and bend it back. You can see exactly where the height of everybody's bumpers are, where they hit. Back end, which it did just about what I was expecting. It started to separate because I know the seam was junk, so we're going to probably hammer this side in more. Push this up and maybe cut the frame rail so they're going to start to bend up and in. It's very possible we might just take the stupid trunk off because it's honestly not needed, but we'll see. Uh, seat belt came loose, but no big deal. This is actually my neighbor, Brenda. She helped with the paint, so shout out to her. Pretty cool neighbors. Uh, inside the car... I say this is a really good rendition or a really good um, way of doing a stock car. If you're able to do it, build it this way. I might even take this car and show this as an example for anyone and everyone to run. That's better than my other car. We got a bar here. You got your seat bar just about below the shoulders. Right there is where your seat belt should go. Door bar is a little bit more excessive than most. It welds to the floor there, welds to the floor over there, a dash bar over here. And then you got a little mini halo inside the car. That's going to be the rules for next year. Everything has to be inside, nothing above. <clears throat> it took a couple of good door shots, but I mean, it's racing, you're going to have that. And he did good. I think the curse is not there anymore. For my channel, anyways. Nobody's going to understand this until I mention that. The cursed car. It's an old, old video of mine. This is the steering wheel from the cursed car. It's a steering wheel I put in my old car, the turret, originally. This is the car that technically could have sent my dad to the hospital twice, but it was only once. Sent my dad to the hospital for breaking his, his wrist because it would not run. He slipped and that his bumper of his truck slipped between the bumper of the, the cursed car and it broke his wrist. And then when we were cutting the car apart and he actually ripped the motor out by using his truck and, you know, deadly force. Uh, and actually doing a few things and cutting some stuff apart actually burnt his hand pretty bad, so... But the still cursed car lives on in this one a little bit, just with the steering wheel. And, uh, yeah, pretty funny. But he did great for his first time out. And by the time he was done with his second Porsche, like a little bit of the Constellation, he was starting to understand the e-brake. And after that, he talked to me a little bit more about it, and I was explaining some more, and he's getting it, so pretty awesome and I'm just ecstatic I got out there I got to race with him for the first heat again with my car you've seen the aftermath already I didn't do very well I uh, was doing good and I actually was ahead of my dad but I ended up uh, messing it up so there's the aftermath of his car